Holy smokes, friends, I'm here. I am not. <laughs> Clearly, I'm fashionably late. We're going to put this hat on for right now because my hair is crazy. Hello, 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 friends. Happy Thursday, Friday Eve, October Eve. Yay, all the things. Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. I am so sorry for being so lame and so late. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am. Like, I'm really sorry. I was helping some friends order. And yeah, I'm here. I'm here now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm lame. I'm lame. How are you? Hello, hello. So, hi. <laughs> hi, Paige. Hey, Jacqueline. How are you, lovelies? So, friends, if you are new to my page, hashtag new. Otherwise, hashtag crew. Um, if you see the red rectangle up here, that means we are live. Otherwise, you are catching the replay. So, hashtag replay or missed you. Hashtag missed you. Okay. I am going to make sure I'm sharing this. And if y'all could do the same, that would be glorious. Another glorious morning, evening, whatever. And good news. Good news. <laughs> Sorry, somebody just messaged me and I was looking at that. Um, good news. It's after nine. <laughs> so, things might go awry. I'm just letting you know. Just keeping you in the loop here. It might get a little cray cray up in here, okay? Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Sometimes life doesn't go the way um, you plan it, and I very well may be not getting much sleep tonight. That's fine. It's okay. Hi, Allison. How are you? Hey, Amanda. How are you, my pretties? I'll get you, my pretty. I'm a little dog, too. Okay. So, I'm going to do some Halloween makeup. Simple. We're keeping it simple. Literally going to do something with the eyes, something... I love doing intricate Halloween makeup. I am not an artist by any stretch of the imagination, but it is fun to do stuff like that and like kind of see like the creation, you know, come together. It's pretty awesome. I am well. Thank you, Amanda. So I am already, like I already started putting my primer on. So I'm going to throw the products down below. If you are interested in anything that I am wearing, like you want a link for it, comment below hashtag outfit. Um, if you are interested in any of my jewelry, comment below hashtag jewelry. Okay. And I'm going to be talking about makeup tonight. I do have some monthly bundles. If you're interested in any of that, comment below hashtag bundle. Okay. So those are the keywords tonight as always. <laughs> so, and then like, comment, share this live and comment below hashtag done when you do that or hashtag all the things. Okay. I think I shared it to everybody. Actually, no, I didn't. I have one more place to do it. And then... I don't know what's going on here. There it is. How are you all? How are you all? I'll be like informing you of everything that's going on. Um, like updates and stuff for everything during this live, okay? Okay. We are in it to win it, folks. We're in it to win it. How was everybody's day? Tell me something positive that happened today. You know how we roll. Tell me something positive. Okay, who's freaking pumped about, I'm good, Amanda, I'm good, I'm good. Who is freaking pumped about October? Are you pumped about October, honey? So pumped. So pumped. He looks so pumped over there, jacked, getting jacked on Lee Croy's. <laughs> Roman loves sparkling water. Dominic likes it too, but Roman's like obsessed with it. <laughs> <laughs> when he asks for a LaCroix, he goes, can I have a Lee Croy? <laughs> Bless his little heart. He's cute. 
So anyway, that's the like running joke in our family that we like Lee Croy's. Okay, hi. Okay, obviously I'm taking my hat off. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw my hair on top of my head. I need you guys to vote below, okay? I need you to tell me, let's see. It is going by so fast, Amanda, that's so true. Okay, I'm gonna look a little crazy. Oh shoot, I need to take a before picture. Y'all, y'all. It's fine. Um, I need you to vote below what kind of eye we're going to do. Do you want spider theme, like spider web theme, or do you want candy corn? I want you to comment below. You can drop an emoji, you can drop an orange heart emoji if you want a candy corn, or you can drop a black heart if you want a spider. Okay, let me take a real quick pic. So I have a before picture. Um, and um, we're gonna get going. And I'm probably gonna start off with doing, um, doing some foundation. Sorry, that's rude to like just stick my phone in your face, but here we are. Okay, hi. How is everybody? Tell me more. Tell me something positive about today. Paige, that's awesome. How cool. I love that. Okay. <clears throat> so vote below. Ooh, we want spiders so far. You guys like spideys. Um, Roman's obsessed with spiders, just FYI, he loves, well, no, that's a lie. He's obsessed with spider webs. <laughs> spider webs from Spider-Man. That's his obsession. Hi, Nikki, how are you? So guys who are just now popping on, tell me hi. If you're new to my page, hashtag new, otherwise hashtag crew. We are currently voting right now for the theme and looks like spiders are winning so far. Like I said, I'm keeping it simple. We're gonna do simple. Hey, Miss Becky, how you doing? Miss Becky with a good hair. <laughs> um, Let me pull that up. This is the first month that I've been on top of things, guys, and I actually scheduled the giveaway entry post for today. I scheduled that when I posted the giveaway announcement, like when I announced what the giveaway was for the month. I know you're proud. I know you are. You don't have to tell me. Okay. Um, give me a second here. Do, 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 do. This is the product that I just put on my eyes. This primer is the bomb.com. And guys, if you're going to do eyeshadow looks at all, you have to use a primer. Minimum concealer. At a minimum, you need to use concealer. But primer for sure. Oh, I'm sorry, Nikki. Facebook has been a stinker lately. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Here it is. Okay. So I did post the giveaway entry post. So if you guys are new to like my giveaways and stuff, I have a giveaway entry post. Let me show it to you. So you were all in the loop. Okay. Um, okay. So you're going to go to my business page. You're already here. <laughs> you're on my business page. This is it. The Angela Raylan makeover. Wow. Stop it. <laughs> told you like I'm in my head all day I don't need to hear me too you know what I mean so you're gonna scrolly scroll and you are going to find this post right here it says entry post that's where you're gonna plug in your entries okay and this is it, it's, it breaks it all down so I'm just gonna really quickly recap that okay um it looks like spiders one <laughs> right page okay so I'm gonna do a spider Halloween eye look. Super simple. You guys can do this. You can do any of them. Anything you put your mind to, okay? But we're going to keep it simple so you guys feel like it's something that you can achieve for Halloween if you so choose to put some fun eye makeup on. Some people have to wear masks at work. So the eyes are always fun to do. So we're going to do that, okay? Okay. This is how you get giveaway entries. Every live that I do, like, comment, share. That's going to give you one giveaway entry, okay? Any order that you do, this is the typical 
rules. Any order you do from any of my links, you can message me and ask me for my links. I have lots of links of different people, of different organizations that I work with. Okay. You get usually one entry for those this month. You're getting double entries for head candy orders. Um, and I had like a, a fun little extra hoorah for any random Madrid stuff, which side note, if you guys were supporting me today with my goal for random Madrid, we met it. Yay! Thank you so much. Like, you guys are the real MVP. Like, I don't think you guys understand, like, how much your support truly means to me. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm not blowing smoke up your you-know-what. Like, it means so much to me. So, I just want you to know that I'm very thankful for all of you. And I'm very thankful for you guys, like, supporting me, liking my stuff, commenting, sharing, re referring people to my page. That is, like, the biggest thing. I just appreciate you guys like more than you know. So if I don't say it enough, just know that. Thank you so much. Um, my next goal is that our pharmacy team is like, <laughs> we're so close to, and today's the end of the month. So end of the month, like in this type of business, there's always goals for stuff. So with that being said, if you want to help me towards my pharmacy goal, if you want to get a boo bag, um, comment below hashtag boo and I will send you the information on it. Just because you comment below hashtag boo does not mean that you're like tied into getting one, but they're going to be really fun and I always spoil people when they do that. And you have to do that, Amanda. Thank you for keeping me on track. Guys, you have to turn in your entries by October 2nd. So Saturday by midnight Eastern Standard Time, okay? Those are great questions that Amanda is asking. So you have to comment your entries there, guys. I have a rule for the giveaways is that as long, like you have to keep track of your giveaway points, like your entries. I always like double check them, but you have to be responsible for keeping track of them. Hi, Ginger, how are you? Okay, so with that being said, I am using CC cream right now. I put in there that I'm using shade light to medium, but really I'm using shade 03 medium. Okay. This is a medium coverage. I think it's actually closer to full in my opinion, but it is a medium coverage and it's really, really good. And then I'm going to go in with the VFX foundation next. Thank you, Ginger. Friends, if you haven't already shared something positive about today, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. I love it when you guys share that kind of stuff. Okay. I'm going in with VFX and we're going to dabby dab. I'll do a little dab or dab. Okay. So I love October because I like to be creative with my Halloween looks. So we're going to be doing some of those. Um, tonight we're keeping it simple though. And I'm going to do a simple look that anyone can do. So if you're looking for something fun to do with your uh, makeup, like for work or something like that, it's perfect. Hi, Heather. How are you? Hey, friends. Thanks for saying hi. If you're new to my page, hashtag new. Otherwise, hashtag crew, y'all. Amanda, I'm so pumped. I love Halloween, guys. Like, I am seriously obsessed with Halloween. It's one of my favorite times of year. I just like dressing up. I like all of the fun. Okay. So I'm going over all of this. I know you've been going through so much, Miss Ginger. Love you, girl. I'm sorry. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Well, welcome, Heather. Hey, friends. Can we throw a bunch of hearts for Heather and tell her welcome? I'm so glad that you're here, girl. Oh, and guys, if you haven't checked in yet, you know how to do that. Make sure you comment below hashtag live if you see the red rectangle, hashtag crew or new if you already said that, and then hashtag I love me, hashtag get it girl, okay? And after this live, I'm going to be working on finishing up my second um, monthly newsletter 
And if you're not subscribed to that, you're going to want to go to my webpage. It is in the link to this video, like the description of this video. But to make sure that you guys have it, I'm going to go do that right now. Um, and my plan, just so you guys know, is to <clears throat> announce the giveaway winner for September on October 4th, which that is my mama's birthday. So I do have a web page. It's, it's the same thing as um, my Facebook business page. It's www.theangelaraylandmakeover.com. I'm just gonna throw that in there so you guys see it. Make sure you go and put in your um, email so that you can, okay, let me pin that real quick. Oh, yay, Heather! <laughs> well, welcome, girl, I'm glad you're here. Yay, awesome, awesome. Thank you for being here, girl. Your name looked familiar, I was like, are you new? <laughs> so, hi, hello. <laughs> um okay next up <laughs> oh I love you Michelle um we just did the VFX pro foundation like I have full coverage up in here you know what I'm saying full coverage we did a vote on what kind of eye makeup look we were gonna do tonight we're we're doing simple Halloween theme okay so I am going to pull up a couple pictures and show you what I was thinking. Like I said, we're keeping it simple. I'm not going cray cray, not going cray cray. Like I don't even want my eyeshadow to be crazy, to be honest. I really don't. I want it to be simple so anybody feels like they can do it, okay? And we're going to do it with the Iconic palette because it's just my jam, okay? It's my jam. I love it. Let me see if the, that palette is linked in here. It show is. Okay, so I'm going to throw that on there. Hi, friends. Hello, hello. How are you? Happy Thursday. Happy Friday Eve. Happy October Eve. Yay. Um, if you are interested in getting a Halloween mystery bag for me that's filled with goodies for a super affordable price, they're called Boo Bags. Comment below hashtag Boo. I'm so excited for them, guys. Like, you don't even know. I am so flippin' excited. Okay? And if you're interested in any of the bundles that I have for this month, since today's the end of the month, comment below hashtag bundle and I'll get them for you, okay? Right here, we're going to use the shade Leader. Okay, and then I'm just looking to see how I want to do this. I think I'm going to use Bliss first and then put Leader on top. So I'm going to use two different shades, and I think we're going to keep it simple because we want the black to contrast, and we're going to use eyeliner. Okay, so that is the biggest thing. So I'm going to go in with this shade Bliss first. Okay. I'm going to go right in the crease. So I'm using a fluffy brush and you want to keep your eye open when you're doing this. Okay. Can we talk about something that's been on my mind? Are you guys okay with that? I talked about it the other night and I'm going to talk about it again. <laughs> Linda, listen, Linda, but for real. Hi, Chrissy. How are you? So, are you ready for me this? Can we talk about the Gabby Petito case? I know, I'm absurd, but there have been, so I've been keeping track of it because I'm obsessed. Let's be honest, I'm obsessed with it. I've been allowing myself like one time a day to check it, but can I be honest? I checked it twice today. Um, does anybody have a lag? Well, I mean, you don't necessarily know, but like, oh, that's crazy, Chrissy. So I've been like watching people on YouTube who have been like trying to cover the story and stuff, like not necessarily giving like news station coverage, but like other things. 
I like to, if I want a full, full coverage page, but you don't have to. You can just use a CC cream by itself. And your package, your mascara that you ordered, is going out tomorrow. It's actually in my mailbox right now. Just FYI. Okay, so I just put Bliss in the crease, and I kind of came around out here, okay? And I'm just like blending that in. I'm gonna actually zoom up here in my eyes a little bit better so you guys can see that. Is the light okay? Do I need to make it brighter? I don't like to make the light super bright because then sometimes it's hard to see. Okay, awesome. Friends, can you tell me, before we get into this Gabby Petito stuff, can you tell me what your favorite Halloween movie is? I know we've been talking a lot about this, but I need to know what your favorite Halloween movie is. I'm gonna start making a list. Like I have some already that I'm planning on like watching, but you know. Okay, so we're gonna make rest of this eye orange. We'll probably add a tiny bit of shimmer, but like most of it's just gonna be orange, okay? So I'm gonna go in with the shade Leader. Again, this is these are all the shades from the Iconic pack, palette. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a really long time though, Chrissy. So when I'm putting like one shade all over my lid, I honestly like to use my finger a lot because yes, hocus pocus. Yay, Sarah! I'm so glad that you got to watch it. Awesome, awesome. Um, when I'm just putting one shade all over my lid, I'll use my, my finger because, and I'm literally just going on it and dusting it on. Sometimes it's just easier and you have better application and the pigment is more noticeable that way. Okay. Yay. Hey, I just got an email that my goalie gummies shipped. Yes. Um, side note. If you are wanting some like extra immunity protection for this season, because it's known for needing extra immunity, I have a link for my goalie gummies. Just comment below hashtag goalie and I can send it to you. Okay. All right. Going in with that shade leader on top of this. Okay. I like to do a couple shades in the crease because it just adds a little bit of extra dimension to it. And like I said, we're keeping it real simple. We're doing two colors. <clears throat> I might add like highlight to go in the inner corner just because it helps to make it pop. We are more so going to be working with eyeliner tonight. Okay. And that's going to be what we use to make what we're going to use to make the spider web. Okay. Yeah, I just got the email, Mandy. It literally just came over. I'm super pumped because I cannot wait to get them. <laughs> for real, for real. Hi, Angela. How are you, girl? Hello, hello, lovey. Yes, back to Gabby. Who's been watching the Gabby case? Can we throw some... I mean, you can throw hearts on the side if you want to for support for that or like a heart emoji in the comments or both or both. Um, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Like I said, I've been watching and maybe we'll check it out after this. I'm a hot mess. Um, but for real, <laughs> maybe we'll check it out after this. <gasps> Let's use the new concealer. I haven't used the new concealer yet. Shut up. <laughs> Let's use the new concealer. This is warm ivory. I think that one, just a second, let me see what shades I have. Okay, so I got 02 Warm Ivory. You think he's, I do think he's alive too. And I'm not impressed with his parents. <laughs> I, I concur. Okay, just F, I mean, I know we're talking about Gabby, but like, I'm going to use the concealer. I haven't used it before, but I'm going to go in underneath. Actually, I'm not going to do it yet. Let's wait. Let's like finish a little bit more. I'm going to have it sitting out here though, ready to rock and roll. Um, this is magnetic liner. I do not want to use that. Let me grab some eyeliner over here. Just a second. 
Um, I did put foundation on Mondi. I used CC cream. I need to wipe that off my face, otherwise I'm gonna have orange all over my face. I use CC cream and then on top I use the VFX, which this is more for normal to dry skin types. Yeah. Isn't that insane, Chrissy? Okay. Just a second. I'm gonna tell you something. I need to turn my light on for a second so I can find my eyeliner. Ah, uh, sorry. I sorry. There we go. These were what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Oh, I don't need that. Okay, that should be good. We'll start with these. We'll, we'll see what else we conjure up after this. Okay. So, what I found out today. Can I tell you what I found out today? Hi, Tina. How are you? Hey, friends. How are you all? Hello, hello. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Guys, we're doing a simple, like, Halloween-themed eyeshadow look. I am going to feature my bundle, one of my bundles that I have for the for the month. It's the September Bliss Bundle. It's only $50 and you get a whole set of eyeshadow brushes. Well, it's not even just eyeshadow brushes. It's multiple brushes. And then you also get um, the CC cream. It's, it's like a primer, but it's different. That cancels out redness. Or no, that one brightens. Yes, that one brightens, the one that comes in this bundle. So it brightens up your skin complexion. Um, and then it comes with a highlight palette, and it's awesome. It's so awesome. Everything is awesome. Hi, Jeannie. Yay, I'm so glad, Miss Tina. Thank you again for your order today. So, guys, if you are interested in the boo bags, comment below hashtag boo, okay? And then I'm going to show you what eyeshadow look I'm thinking that we're going to do, okay? Okay. Like super simple. I'm not even kidding, guys. We're going to keep it simple so that you guys feel comfortable and confident in recreating this. Okay? Now, I think I'm going to make the spider web a little different. No. I'm not going to do the spider web yet. Okay, this was the one that I thought was kind of cute. So I might make the spider web a little bit more, but this is kind of what I'm going for, okay? Hi, Nana, how are you? How's it going, girl? Hi, Lexi, I'm good, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna use eyeliners here. The first one I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this black, and I'm gonna use that on the top water line, okay? Thank you, Nana. Oh, that's not even black, is it? Oh, that's silver. Oh, well, then we'll put it on the bottom. I'm going to put it on the bottom. I will message you about the boo bags, Miss Nana. Okay, so we're going in on the waterline with this one. This is like a silver. I am not linking this because I didn't make a product pick for it. I'm sorry. But we're going in with silver. Oh, I didn't do that one, that one that that girl showed. Or are you talking about the eyeshadow I've done so far? All I've done, guys, is use two colors so far. And it's out of the Iconic palette. I went in with Bliss on my crease. And then I went in with Leader on my eyelid. And then I brought it up into my crease. And that's all we've done so far. This is so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You all can do this. If you love Halloween and love to, like, get into it and stuff like that, you can do this. Okay. I am purposely doing this for you all to feel that you can do this. Okay. Oh, thanks, Lexi. No, I am feeling better. I was, I mean, I was fine. I just, I try to be more open with you guys because a lot of times people say that I'm an inspiration because of like how positive I am. And yes, I make it very intentional on being positive, but I also don't want you to think that it's realistic that I never have negative like feelings and thoughts because that's not true. You know what I mean? And that's not fair for you guys to think 
that. So I like to share that kind of stuff too, even though it's not fun. Like I don't like to share it, but I, I, I feel like I need to share it. If that makes sense. I noticed like when I first started getting into like the social media aspect of things. So right now I'm going to go in with the liquid liner and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to come up here and that's all I'm going to do so far. Okay. And I think I am going to use the magnetic liner because I'm probably going to end up using lashes. Hi, Caitlin. How are you? Okay. So I'm going to go in here. Don't be afraid of it, guys. I'm telling you right now, don't be afraid of it. It's just like a marker. Okay. I will send them to you, Lexi. Just comment below hashtag jewelry and hashtag shirt. Oh, my shirt says I smell children. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So we're going to go in. I'm going to come up a little bit. I'm fantastic, Miss Caitlin. Isn't it cute, Nana? Nana, did you get the candy tea? I know that you ordered. I can't remember though if you got the the Sanderson sister candy candy tea. Yes, Amanda, please do. Please do. Okay. Thank you, Lexi. The hashtags help me because it breaks up like the regular like words without hashtags, you know what I mean? So they help me. Okay. And then she didn't really use any eyeliner under here. So I'm just going to kind of let it be. I'm going to bring that orange underneath. However, I'm going to make sure I do concealer first. Yay, Nana. I'm so excited. Okay. So rest of this. I'm just kind of looking to see how she did this. She did like an all out wing. Like she wasn't messing around. I think I'm going to do a lighter color up here and try to like blend it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna get a lighter color. Thank you, Caitlin. I'm actually gonna use this shade Magnolia, okay? And I'm only using the tiniest bit because I wanna diffuse this color up here a little bit. I wanna make this look a little bit lighter. So I'm kind of going in with that just to like blend that out more. Okay. And I'm probably going to use concealer too around my brows so it'll look better. Okay. Because right now it's like cray cray. <laughs> it's a little too much and that's okay. But see how like I automatically have like a lighter color up there. There we go. Hey Amanda. Thanks girl. How are you? Okay, so we're gonna go up and over. I need to tweeze my eyebrows so bad. Oh my gosh, what intonation. <laughs> I tell you. Okay, going up. Here we are. Do, 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 do. Do you see how that's like fading it? Like it's making it lighter. And it's looking more natural and not so, like, dark, light. You know what I mean? Which I think looks better. You know what I mean? I always say, you know what I mean? Have you guys noticed that? <laughs> Monty. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> so... I'm going to stop doing my makeup for a second so I can not squirrel for a second, okay? The FBI went to the laundry's house, okay? The FBI went to the laundry's house. They went into the camper. So do you guys know the information about the phone? Do you know that Brian came, didn't have a phone? Like he didn't come back with whatever phone he had from the trip. So 
AT&T, and this wasn't, this wasn't today, but AT&T um, had to like give over all of like their video footage because apparently Brian purchased a phone when he got back to Florida. Hi, Savala, how are you? Okay, I'm literally, I am gonna go in um, with liner up here right now. Just a second. I'll use these. YOLO. It's fine. See, I need to do my liner. Like, I need to... So, I have to do this one fast. My magnetic liner fast. Because you have to put it on before... You have to put the lashes on before they dry. Here, let me bring these in. So, I'm going to try to do my wing. So... They don't know if that was a hacker or not. If somebody hacked into his account or not. Some people are wondering also if like there are people who are like other people other than Brian that are in on everything and like trying to throw people off. You would think they know that information already, though. You know what I mean? Like, because they would, like, have to, like, ping the lo the location of where these people are. That's what I think. Okay. I'm just looking real quick. Just a second, guys. I'm trying to, like, see how I'm going to do my wing. So this wing is, like, super exaggerated. So I'm going to exaggerate mine a little bit. I mean, it's already kind of exaggerated. Let's be real. Okay. I'm trying to exaggerate it without it looking like crazy. Because it already kind of does. Um, I... I know he knows what happened to her. I'm not saying that he did it. I wouldn't be surprised. Yes. So Dog the Bounty Hunter went to, okay, I got to put this down. The, this is the information that I have seen so far, and I don't know if any of it's true, okay? FBI was there today. Dog the Bounty Hunter got involved, I want to say this past weekend, he started getting involved. He found out, like, the FBI didn't have any, like, lead on this that they were publicly saying or anything like that. Um, he, he found out that the laundries, like, so Brian came back from Wyoming without Gabby. He came back on September 1st. They went to a campground in Florida on the Gulf side, um, September 6th through September 8th, and they were checked in under Brian's mom's name. And it was three people that went in. This this part, I think, is hearsay. Um, so I don't know for sure. But they there's hearsay that three people went in, but only two people came out. That's the hearsay part. But they actually have a document showing that Roberta Laundry was um, in, like, had checked in on September 6th and checked out on the 8th. Um, just a second. So, Dog actually brought that to people's attention. Nobody else did. The FBI did not bring that to anybody else's attention. Okay? So, Dog has been looking out there because how that is, is the campground is right on the Gulf and there are secluded small islands all around there. Super duper secluded. That somebody could get to from like a kayak or a canoe or something like that. Okay. So they ended up finding a camp. No. No. Brian's parents got dog involved? No. So dog showed up to Brian's house. Okay. Dog showed up to Brian's house, knocking on the door, trying to get the family to talk to him because they were, dog was hoping they would.
the parents called the cops when dog showed up. Like they didn't want him there. They didn't want to talk. They haven't talked to anybody except the attorney. <laughs> and like when the FBI shows up, that's like who they talk to. So dog had the police called on him, even though he wasn't being disruptive or anything. He just literally came to their house and was trying to find out information. That happened. They called the cops. After they called the cops, I mean, he he left before the cops even got there. He was like, whatever. He was not being, like, there was, there's video of him there, and he's not being disruptive at all. They just don't want anybody there. Side note, today, the police report, um, not police reports, but police, um, like, ledger or whatever was shown on somebody's um, YouTube that I, like, watch and stuff. Showing that from, I might not have the exact dates. Yes, it was September 10th. The night before Gabby was announced missing. On September 11th, she was announced. Hi, Kay. She was announced missing on September 11th. From September 10th, I believe, until like, I think it was like the 26th or 27th of September. There have been 46, between 42 and 46 phone calls to the police from the laundries. 46 phone calls to the police. Like what in the hell? You know what I mean? One of them, two of them being on September 10th. According to this person I follow on YouTube, he said that one of the calls was for Gabby's dad because Gabby showed up trying to find Gabby and the laundries called the cops that he was there. What? Freaking answer the door and talk to the man. He's missing his daughter for crime and sakes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks, Lexi. Have a good night, girl. What so Paige, what happens when you get kicked up? I'm just curious. Well, they're calling because they're not happy with like things happening and stuff. Like they don't like being I mean, there's protesters outside of their like house. People are like camped out there because they want to know when the laundries are coming and going. Because I think people are afraid that they're gonna make a run for it. So like there's tons of people out there, like outside their house. Like, and it's not always peaceful protesting, but anyway, so they, they've been calling. There apparently was a call that it just kept saying the, the actual, um, log did not say what the call was for, not Gabby's dad, but the other one. So I don't know if something escalated or what's happening. Oh, I believe that 100% Cheryl. I believe that they're helping him too. Okay. I knew that that was going to happen. Let me get my lashes ready. I'm going to put these fun ones on. I'm going to put these e thrill ones on. If you guys are interested in my magnetic lashes, just comment below hashtag glam and I'll send you the link to it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go in and we're going to do, let's do the left eye. Um, oh, I, I need my mirror. It's all very shady, Mandy. So that was talked about today. I think that was just like released by the police. Like, but like I said, that log, like not all of the details are on the log. Like a lot of it is like crossed out and stuff, but it said problems, like problem solved or whatever. I will message you, Miss Page. And guys, if you're interested in the boo bags that I'm going to be doing, they're like mystery bags, but Halloween themed, make sure you comment below hashtag boo, and I'll be able to send you the information for that. Okay, I'm throwing in my lashes here. Um, I mean, maybe. I just think that they're all narcissists, to be honest. I think it's ridiculous how they're acting. You know what I mean? 
That's how I feel. I think they're all narcissistic. That looks bomb. Is who the same person that used her credit card? Brian? The last time that I heard, and I might have missed it, the last time that I heard that um, they didn't necessarily say it was Gabby's card, but that Brian used somebody's card unauthorized, but I'm almost positive it was Gabby's. But I don't know for sure. I didn't hear, like, the last update on that. But, yes, yeah, so that's what his, that's what his, like, warrant for his arrest is out for, is for, like, that shadiness. So, dog finds out that from September 6th to September 8th, um, the laundries were at this campground that has, like, these random islands that, like, people can go and, like, check out and stuff while they're there. Yeah, I think it said that there was, like, up to $1,000, like, charged, I think onto it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I remember reading that. Yeah, there's speculation about that, about the couple that got killed. That he either knows about that or because that couple was also at the place where there was alleged abuse from Brian where he was like hitting at um, Gabby. Like I said, I'm not giving you like necessarily like necessarily like facts. I'm just telling you like the things I've been watching and hearing. Please do not take my words for like truth. <laughs> I'm being dead serious on that. Okay. So nobody knows for sure like what happened because Brian has been gone. Nobody has talked to him since Gabby has been, well, nobody, everyone is being quiet about it since Gabby was reported missing. What was in Utah? Okay, this is the new formula of the concealer that I'm getting ready to try. So I already like the applicator better. And it feels smoother, which I love that already. Yes, that was a hiker that because they were looking for Brian, they ended up finding the remains of somebody else who was missing like a month ago. Okay, I'm going to try to get this under here. Um, Gabby and Brian were at the same campground, whichever one it was, as those people. Okay, thank you so much. You're amazing. I appreciate you. Okay. And then I'm going to go under this side and blend that out and bring it down a little bit. And then I'm going to set my powder and then we're going to work on um, that spider web. Okay. Okay. So there were some people saying that they thought that there were sightings of Brian on the Appalachian Trail, which is also um which is also a place that Brian is known for. Like I think he's actually like he was like a survivalist out on these um Appalachian trails for like 3 months I think he like lived out there. Like, on purpose. I will message you guys. Thank you. Hey, Chelsea. How are you? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at this. Guys, like, this is perfect already. These lashes have black and purple in them with the black liner, the orange shadow. It's freaking awesome. That doesn't surprise me, Chrissy. Okay, so I'm going to set... Gabby, Gabby was really young. Wasn't she 22? 
She was very young. She was 22 or 23. Very young. It's an atrocity. Like, I'm seriously, like, I, I can't even. Like, it hurts my heart so much for their family. So, there have been, like, <laughs> thanks, Chelsea. There have been a lot of people, like, because Dog the Bounty Hunter has been asking for people to, like, give them leads. He's like, no lead is bad. Like, send leads, like, if people know. You know what I mean? Yes. So, John Walsh is looking, and so is Dog the Bounty Hunter, which is awesome because they are very motivated because, I mean, it's not awesome that this happened to them, but they're very motivated because they know how it feels. They've had awful situations happen to their kids. And so they're like looking for him. Oh, he does look older because, you know, the whole balding thing. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. So, and if you listen to John Walsh, like he's pissed. Like pissed. Yeah, well, there's a lot of stuff about, like, books. Like, Gabby was reading, like, mystery stuff, too. There's a lot of crazy shit. <laughs> um, so. Apparently, yesterday, Dog went out uh, to this campground area. And I think, I believe... That they're actually on these islands. Like they're look they're looking out on these islands. They brought in their dogs that like sniff out um human scent. And they did find like a camp, some sort of camp set up out there. Um they have not said that they have found Brian. Um, but I think they said they found another guy out there who was like living out there. Um, that wasn't Brian. So they said that they did find somebody else. They found a monster can. And so I think they were using that as evidence, not evidence, but they, they were going to look more into that evidence because they, they wanted to do DNA on it. I think. So today the FBI showed up to Brian Laundrie's parents house which was also where Gabby was living which is also where Brian was living hi Christina how are you okay I'm letting my brows chill for a second yay Christina welcome home girl I'm so glad I'm sure you're so thankful to be home <laughs> probably exhausted um And they went into the camper. So this camper that they went into, apparently they had searched already, but they went back and they took something out of it. I don't know what they took. I think somebody somebody said a pair of gloves. I don't think anybody really saw what what it was because they had put it in a um. They where'd my eyeshadow palette go? What in the heck? I literally just had that dang thing. Like for real. Where'd my eyeshadow palette go? <laughs> oh, don't see it. Should I pick it up and move it? What is wrong with me, guys? Can somebody can somebody tell me what's wrong with me? Hmm. Well, I really don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um <laughs> Nana. Yes. They are a mix of black and purple. They're called Ethereal. Um, and they are from Glamnetics. So if you guys are curious about my lashes, comment below hashtag Glam and I can send you a link for them. But they're like purple and black. They're fun. I like them. Okay. I'm going to go in with that orange color and I'm going to pop it underneath. Um, so a lot of people keep labeling him as a narcissist and oftentimes with narcissists they think that they, like they have a very inflated sense of self um I will message you after this Miss Cat uh Miss Nana sorry I just got a message from a friend named Cassie um 
and I think he thinks he's like above the law. Like I think he thinks he's smarter than other people. And I really do think that, I don't know. I, you know what I mean? Like I am thankful that I'm not that way. I mean, at least I don't think I am. Um, and I just, I can't fathom like why he would think that he could get away with it. You know what I mean? It's insanity. It really truly is. So I'm going in with that orange just to like bring the whole eyeshadow look together. It's going to make my eyes pop too. Whoa, I think I got eyeshadow in my eyeball just now. That's amazing. Sevilla, that's awesome. Um, so what was I just talking about? Oh, so the FBI were there and they went into the house and they talked to the laundries while they were there. Um, and they came out with like a cooler bag and I think it was like stuff for, with DNA samples, probably from the parents maybe, I don't know. I think that what they're doing is like they have evidence um, and you have to have search warrants for like all of this kind of stuff. So they had to have warrants to come back out to confiscate anything. So something must have turned up for them to come and retrieve items. And they aren't arresting anybody because a lot of people were like, why aren't they arresting the, the laundries? Like, why aren't they arresting the parents? Clearly they're helping yet, la da 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 da, okay? Well, there's no real evidence yet that they have helped. Like they have to like actually have real evidence because here's the thing, they already have lawyers. Um, so the thing is, is that if the police were to arrest them and they didn't have like evidence to arrest them on or any like info to do that, like they would be let off. You know what I mean? Like they wouldn't have to stay. That's what would happen. So they have to be smart about it. You know? Okay, this is the site I'm gonna do the spider and spider web on. So now I'm ready. <laughs> um, I think. So that was the last thing that I knew. Absolutely, Mondi. Absolutely, I agree. Um, and there's just been like a lot of like, Things that just aren't making sense. Like, honestly, it's bad. Um, it's like scary, but also like bad because there's a lot of stuff that doesn't sit right. You know what I mean? Okay, let's do this. It honestly looks like I need to extend this out more. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab my same liquid liner that I was using. Um... And I'm going to extend that out a little bit. So he is being, the FBI is in charge now. So he is being charged federally. That was my understanding of it. That one's way longer than the other one. 
Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't. None of it makes sense. I think he is still alive. I do. Okay. Here we go. So we've got the web. And then we've got the spider. I'm going to do the web first. Okay. So the web kind of like comes out like this. Absolutely. Absolutely. And before Gabby was even like before the parents even reported her missing, they got a lawyer. There's also speculation that there, this is hearsay that he flew back. Okay. So the, the cams from the cops, like the, the cops had body cams on cause there was an actual like encounter. They got pulled over because they were like swerving over the road. And I think he was speeding. I don't remember exactly why they got pulled over. Well, they got pulled over cause he was like driving and the cops like were waiting for him to, and I think he was speeding. I think that was the reason why I got pulled over, but there was an altercation. And anyway, long story short, they ended up saying that it was technically a domestic dispute and Gabby was the domestic violence person because he had scratches on him and nobody could see anything on her. So what happened was when they got there and everything, they said that they had to treat it as such. And so they had to be separated. So then Brian went and stayed I think it was Brian. I think Brian went and stayed in a hotel and I think Gabby stayed, kept the van. There were two different encounters though, right, Chrissy? There were two different encounters. There was that one, but then the couple, this is my understanding, the couple that reported like an altercation where Brian was like doing something physical to Gabby, they said it at the store. So there's, there is hearsay that sometime bef between them getting separated and they might've got back together or whatever, like the next day, I don't even know. I haven't heard anything on that, but sometime between them getting separated and him coming back on September 1st, somebody had said that he flew back from Wyoming and they emptied out Gabby's, they either moved things from Gabby's, I think they emptied out her whole storage unit. They emptied everything out. And this is hearsay, but they emptied things out and it was Brian and his dad who did all of that. And then he flew back to Wyoming. What? Plus there's two people on TikTok who have posted videos and showed like actual like proof of like where they were at and stuff, who picked Brian up as a hitchhiker. That same time frame that Gabby probably died. Like it's matching up. But like that looks shady, Chrissy. Like that looks out of all of it, like I feel like that's the most shady. <laughs> I don't know. It's just freaking crazy. That's all I know. Okay. So there are one, two, three lines that I'm going to, I'm going to do the lines first. Okay. So it looks like, cause I want to make sure there's a spider coming down here. I'm just bringing the spider web down right now. I don't know. Like that just doesn't make any sense to me. I think if anything, it made it worse. You know what I mean? Okay. 
Oh, I bet Christina. No, it definitely looked like a toxic relationship. Absolutely, Amanda. Um, and then there, so Gabby's friend Rose, I believe that's her name. She came forward and talked about her experiences with Brian and Gabby and how he was very controlling and manipulative and how he didn't, like, he, like, actually, like, this was not related to, like, this situation um, as far as, hi, Michelle, how are you? As far as, like, the timeline of these events, but, like, just some particular experience that they had. Um, she said that they were going to, like, go out to a club. He did not hitchhike back to Florida. So what? He came back with the van. He had the van. Um, so, yeah, I think that that is a rumor. I don't think... So, okay. So, Rose, the girl that I was telling you about, she had said that... Before they got ready to go on their trip, Gabby was staying at her house more than at the laundries because their relationship was a little rocky. And she said, like I said, this is all hearsay. She said that he was, he, Gabby was like kind of concerned because he was like hearing voices and she just felt like uncomfortable. And there was a time that she wanted to go to a, a club with her friend and Brian took her ID so that she couldn't go. Like, he, like, literally, like, took it. And Rose said that he he was the type of person um, that if he wanted his way, he was going to get it. That's what she said. I was like, what in the heck? You know what I mean? Absurdity. Okay. That did not go on as smoothly as I was hoping. I think I'm gonna wipe some of this. I'm just gonna make it longer, it's fine. Absolutely. I know a lot of people are saying like there's a lot of theories and stuff out there, but I think a lot of them could be true, you know? Okay, let's see, this one. More right here. Okay. Um, so yeah, sorry, I got really quiet, but I was trying to see what the heck I was doing here. So it's really been like an insane case. Oh, other things. Let me tell you just a second. People were alleging Thank you, Michelle. If you guys love these lashes, comment below hashtag glam and I will send you the link to them with my discount code. Okay.
Okay. Roberta Laundry. She also works for the FBI. She is a, she works in the DA, I believe. So a lot of people were saying that she was like tr like possibly talking um Oh, it's okay. It's completely okay, Sybilla. I, like I said, I disclaimed what I was saying with, I, I, this is all like hearsay. Cause I mean, it all is like, I don't know. I'm not there, you know? Um, absolutely. And not only that, but People are saying because it was really weird that the FBI wasn't able to figure out that they went to that campground. Like what? Like why weren't why wasn't that like why did Dog the Bounty Hunter have to be the one to figure that out? You know what I mean? So people were like kind of like wondering what the hell about that also. Which I completely understand why they would because it's shady af that's what people were like alleging that like she like paid them off to like do the bare minimum basically because the fbi didn't know anything about any of this stuff. Well, it's not that they didn't know. Um, that, sorry, my phone is blowing up right now with messages. Um, you're funny. You're doing the other one too? No. We're we're talking about Gabby Petito. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll be here all night, folks. For real though. I think probably one of my favorite things though is John Walsh calling <laughs> calling them the dirty laundries. Like that I oh, think he's just is my I I think is my favorite part because He is saying everything that everybody's thinking. You know what I mean? Everyone's saying hi to you. Hello. Um, so I absolutely love it. I'm going to go back up to the uh, barn. Oh, I was like, what's that? The barn. I know now, but at first I didn't know anything. It's, it's looking better and better. I believe it. I'm finding spots, moving things around. Glad to see them. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Well, thank you. Just so y'all know. Just so y'all know. I'm, I'm going to steal the show for a minute. Mary? He is hiding, Michelle. It's because my room is freaking trashed right now. Um, it, it has come out just real quick that Brian Laundrie's mom works for the DA. Oh. District Weird. Attorney's Office. Weird, huh? Weird. Hey, friends. How we all doing? <laughs> um, so I just want to talk to you about our special guest here, Angela. She spent all damn day, <laughs> all damn day, without rest, with the boys. They ran her ragged. She was running them around town. I was out of town. And here she is, spending her evening with you. She's a rock star. Introducing... The hardworking and amazing. Uh, you're funny. I love Angela you. Raylan Seeley. Everyone wants to know how your brother is. I mean, he's, he's all right. <laughs> oh, absolutely, Mondi. Hello. Did Hello, they senior. have him originally? Hello, senior. Chrissy, what are you asking? Yes, he had a successful surgery, it yeah. sounds like. Um. Yeah. Can I give you a bath? What were we doing Sunday evening? I can't tell you. Okay. I, I, I I don't it know my calendar off the top of my head. It's escaping my brain and has been all day, and I'm like, oh, no, I can't let, I can't forget that. I, I don't know. 
Saturday we're going to see huh? the birthday party. I know that's Saturday. That's what I just said. This poor spider looks really bad. Um, okay, sorry. This spider got really big. And I'm being sloppy with it. And his legs are really long. Like, holy sugar muffins. That's a big-ass spider. <laughs> um... And I hate spiders. You guys know. If you know, you know. Okay. I feel like my spider web needs some more. <sighs> I feel like it needs some more webbage. <laughs> that sounds so dirty. Um, Dan's brother. I mean, I'm not going to get into crazy details, but he had to have a, have a surgery today and it went well. So I'm not going to share everything because it's not my place to share. And he might not want everybody knowing. So, I mean, it's not bad. Like he's good now, but it was not a planned surgery. So Dan ended up um, going down there to be with him when he was in surgery. So, I had to change up some things today because of that, which was no big deal because family is the most important. Right here, you think? How about that? So, it did, yes. Thank you for asking. Let me look at some other webs and just kind of see. So my spider web was bigger than what I had planned. Let's, let's put that out there. But it's still okay. So if I were to redo this again, I would make the web a little smaller. Okay. Um, friends, I did schedule out a, ugh, a post. Not a post. I scheduled out a message. So if any of you commented on this video, um, then you are gonna get a message from me. I scheduled out just because I'm awful at sending messages right after if I don't schedule it. So I sent it, like I scheduled it to be sent. My computer system sent it. So it's not a robot. It's just, I just literally scheduled my message to you all to be sent at that time. <laughs> So FYI, don't be alarmed. It's me. It's not a robot. It's me, I promise. Okay? Okay. Sorry, I am not even paying attention to comments in here. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Michelle. COVID is awful. I'm so glad that you're finally feeling better though. So I usually schedule the message to go out like about an hour after you comment. So that's why... Some of you may be getting a message from me. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go in and contour now. Oh, sugar muffins. I didn't finish my brows. Let's do brows. I need to do brows because I have to like use, use concealer. Hey, Elizabeth. How are you, gorgeous? I'm just going to go around the perimeter of my face, and then I need to go back in with a concealer. I'm going to go through here, 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 and up through here. How was your day, girly girl, Miss Elizabeth? Oh, that's okay, Mondi. 
You probably, I mean, if you did, you probably just pushed like unsubscribe or something. Or you commented unsubscribe. Sometimes not everybody gets them. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Because sometimes people are like, I don't know what I did, but I didn't do it on purpose if I did it. I feel like it's not a big deal, guys. Okay. Let's do eyebrow pomade. So I'm using the dark brown eyebrow, eyebrow pomade. So anything else that we want to talk about with the Gabby Petito case, I guarantee that he will be found soon. Um, I don't know if there's a way to get you back into it or not. I can look, Mandy. I mean, you talk to me, so like, you know. So I know some of you already have, but guys, if you're interested in boo bags, yes, okay, I did announce that at the beginning, and I'm sorry, I need to re-announce it, but yes, I met my goal, so thank you so much to everybody who, um, who was able to support me in that, I really appreciate it, I um, need to sell, <laughs> I need to sell some boo bags so I can meet my pharmacy goal now. Oh, end of the month fun. End of the month hustle. So if you are interested in a boo bag, comment below hashtag boo. But I did meet that goal. And guys, like, I appreciate you all so much. And I know not, you know, I know a lot of people feel bad, like, when they aren't able to order and stuff. Like, I never want you to feel bad for that. Um, I appreciate you ordering. I appreciate you being here and being present with me and supporting me and sharing out my stuff like that means so much to me so I just I, I never want you to feel um bad because that's not what it's about everyone should feel part of this like even when they're not able to like physically purchase something yay I'm so excited for you guys so yeah that's awesome that totally helps me um, and I will message you guys right after this, the details on those. Okay. Yeah, it was like a whirlwind of stuff today. So I had a doctor's appointment today and my doctor's appointment was because I have like no energy. Like I have to be like constantly caffeinated to feel like I can do anything. And I, I just lost 26 pounds. Like I should not feel practically worse. <laughs> oh my gosh, Maddie, that's so funny. Okay. I have people messaging me in my team chat and I'm just like, dude, I'm live right now, but I can't tell them because I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? Would you guys like me to do a purple lippy? I think that makes sense. I don't have a dark purple one, but I can totally add um, eyeshadow to make it more purple. I think that would be perfect, actually. It's a good suggestion, okay? What do you guys think? Throw some hearts if you like the idea of a purple lippy. this is the new concealer guys I really love it like it is really um like it feels more hydrating like it doesn't feel as thick which I like that it, I mean it, it didn't feel thick before necessarily but this consistency feels less thick if that makes sense oh no the stuff that my kids say to me Monday I'm just like thanks <laughs> Whatever. Hey guys. Okay, I'm gonna repeat key words, okay? And I'm gonna try to keep them the same on every live, guys. That way, if you're automatically curious about something, you'll know what to comment on here, okay? So, if you want the information on my monthly bundles, 
comment below hashtag bundle. If you want the information on my boo bags, which are Halloween themed mystery bags, comment below hashtag boo. Okay. If you want to know the information to my jewelry, comment below hashtag jewelry. And if you want to know how I got this awesome mullet, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, if you want to know anything about my outfit slash shirt, just comment below hashtag outfit or hashtag T, T E E, whatever. Magnetic lashes, hashtag glam. And I can send you all the info. Okay. I hope that helps. I'm not trying to be like obnoxious, but the hashtags help me because then I can skim through comments faster to make sure I send stuff to you guys. And my goal is to make sure that I get stuff to you. Like I want to start taking more time to send info to people. So that is super duper helpful. Um, when you do the hashtags, cause then I'm able to see it easier. Okay. So thank you. Okay. Do I have my lippy liney? Lippy liney. I think it's over there. Um, I'm going to contour some more, but hold the phone. Just a second. Um, I saw the lip liner. Oh, that is not a lip liner. <laughs> that is not a lip liner, my friends. That is an uh, eyebrow pencil. Here it is. Okay, there's the. Uh, let me find the purple now. This looks kind of reddish. What's this one called? This is a red. Oh, is this purple? No. <laughs> I'm almost positive the purple has got. There it is. I found it. Hi, Rebecca. I'll make sure to send you that girlfriend. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, sorry, I was catching up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Aww. She's precious, though, Mandy. She's a precious girl. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I know this is kind of going long. So I am using lip liner 227. There's nothing wrong with that, Andy. Have a good night, Chrissy. I will share with you, like if you guys aren't opposed to it, I will share with you the updates that I hear about Gabby Petito and stuff. And the dirty laundries. John Walsh. He's my spirit animal. Okay. Thank you, Kay. Um, so they ordered full blood work on me, including, um, all of the panels on the thyroid. So that will be good. Um, 
I don't know. I was going to go tomorrow, but I, I don't even know if I'm going to go tomorrow now to get it done. Because I still have to find... I still have to, like, figure out. Um, that's okay, Kristen. Have a good night, girl. Um, like, where I need to go to get the lab work done. Because I don't live in the same area anymore. My doctor is still my same doctor. But I live like 45 minutes away. Oh, I love you too, Miss Christina. I like it. Okay, now here's a scoop though. We're going to add a little bit more purple to it. I'm going to add some shimmer. Because YOLO. <laughs> Use a brush. I'm gonna make a mess. I don't. I don't, but they recommended um, that I get the labs before 10 because they're also gonna have me do my. Um, hormone levels. And they said they prefer that. Isn't it pretty? So I just used a little purple shimmer on top of that lip um, shade from Pharmacy, which is 206. Okay. I like it. Okay. Let's contour the heck out of my life right now. And so I'm getting, it's pretty, huh? It's fun. Um, okay. So I'm getting thyroid levels checked, vitamin D, iron. She's basically like checking everything. And she said from there, um, we will figure out what we need to do after the lab work comes back. She said that they'll call and go over it and then we'll talk about it from there. She did say, cause she's also going to look up some like autoimmune stuff because vitiligo is an auto autoimmune disorder. Um, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Tammy. And she said it's very common for people with vitiligo to have um, thyroid problems. I'm sorry. My, my messenger right now is blowing up. So like, I can't even see my full face right now, <laughs> which is fine. <gasps> kind of. Okay. So I'm using the peach bite palette. Which I believe is currently out of stock to be completely transparent with you. However, there is like a three in one contour palette too. Oh, I'm sorry, Tammy. Yeah, so they she said that she wouldn't be surprised, but she said it's good that we're checking. And I said sounds good to me. <laughs> so there you go. There's the 411. <laughs> Um, let me see if there's a different blush because I want to use a different blush. <clears throat> I feel like I need more of a purpley toned instead of, I need a purple toned blush instead of the peach one. It just makes more sense. Okay. So let's see what we got here. This one is called Rose Jam. That one's more peachy. Which, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that, but I like, oh, that is not a blush. That is a brow powder. This one is Love Letter. Oh. Oh. Um, they're all kind of peachy. All sugar muffins. I might just use this. So you can use eyeshadow as blush, too. I think I'm honestly going to use one of these as some um, blush. 
Never be afraid to like mess around with like colors and stuff. I am gonna do this one. A little bit goes a long way. Like I literally picked up a crap ton of that product and I'm tapping it on. Doo -doo -doo. See, oh, it's pretty. <laughs> now, <laughs> do you like my mirror that I was just looking at? <laughs> what in the hell? <gasps> so I hope you guys feel like you could replicate this if you wanted to do it. Um, like I said, some tips that I would say is that I wouldn't make the web so big, but I still like, I still like, um, the angle of it and stuff. That was a lot. Like I like how it like curves up and stuff. So like all of that's good. Holy sugar muffins, what happened here? I'm literally using my brush that I use for foundation. And I'm just kind of trying to blend it up so it doesn't look so crazy. I mean, it's a Halloween look, so it's not the end of the world, you know? But just make sure your brushes are clean. That's probably part of it too. <laughs> and then make sure that you blend everything. Yeah, Tina, get it, girl. You should. I can totally hook you up with the makeup too, you know. Or if you guys have makeup already, then like make it work. You know what I mean? I need to bring more contour down. Like I feel like I need more contour on my face. So that is what I'm going to do right now. And then I'm going to put highlighter on and setting spray and then we're going to be done. Yay. Um, quick note. I will be live on the head candy page tomorrow. Okay. I will be live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and fingers crossed that I will have the new eye patches. Our matey. <laughs> the eye um, masks. The eye, the head candy eye masks. Just so you know <laughs> what the hell I'm talking about. I mean, who really knows what the hell I'm talking about, let's be honest. Make sure you click my website, guys. If you want to subscribe to my newsletter too, I'm going to be working on that next. I'm so excited, Tina. It's going to be so good. Okay, so let me show you the highlight. Okay. like my favorite part to highlight after you do the thumb lip no a brush is easier to highlight honestly look at that shot up glow baby glow Why not, right? It's Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 I'm excited for you guys to get your goodies. We'll just make a little shine up here, too. Like I said, YOLO.
Now, oftentimes I do concealer like on the bottom of my brow, but to be honest, I liked that the eyeshadow went all the way up, so that's why I didn't do concealer. And then blend. I am a little bit more bougie. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sorry about that. Stupid. They are stupid allergies. I concur. Okay. Setting spray for the win. And then we're done. Ta da! <laughs> with my awesome hair. Ta-da! My hair is like curly right now, so I'll be perfect. Oh. I'm so shiny right now. <laughs> Hello, shiny. I'm shiny. Done! Yay! All done. What do you guys think? It turned out cute, didn't it? I'm still trying to debate if I want concealer in the center of my lippy. I feel like I need it. I need it. Are you surprised? Come on. Linda! Thank you guys. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. I'm going to bump up the light because it looks dark in here. Thank you, Amanda. I'm trying to put that shimmer on top of my lippy. It's looking better. There it is. So when I put the concealer on, what that allowed me to do <laughs> was to give it the ability to see that purple more. Do you see that? That shimmer that I'm using? Because it was white, it gave it more of the true color rather than the purple just sitting on top of the lipstick. If that makes sense. I like that. It looks good. Okay. We're done. Happy October Eve. <laughs> Yay. Okay. I need to go see what my team is messaging me about. <laughs> okay. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am seriously so excited. So excited. <laughs> I love you all. Um, if you are interested in joining our pharmacy team, you can comment below hashtag um, 5050 because you also get a 50% discount when you do. Um, and I can send you deets on that too. Okay. All right. I love you all. Happy October Eve. And I will talk to you all soon and I will message you all back too. It's just going to be a few minutes, but I will. Okay. Thank you. Love you all. Mwah. Bye.